So if you saw my video, the last video that I did, I opened a bunch of mystery packages and one of those packages were actually two of these wireless earphones from a company from, called Black Dot. They sent it over for review, so thank you to them. Uh, but the main reason I actually really want to check them out is because I really like supporting Southeast Asian or Singaporean local tech companies and them being based in Singapore really caught my eye and attention and I reached out, so that's why uh, I'm actually going to check out these wireless earphones. However, here's the little cool thing that uh, Black Dot is doing. They aren't sponsoring me or anything, by the way. All the opinions I'm giving of these earphones are mine and mine alone. However, here's the catch. They're so confident with their earphones is that they have asked me to put the Shopee link for these earphones down in the description below. And with the offer code SKULZXTECH, you can get a few percent off your first purchase, actually your f a few percent off any of your purchases with the Black Dot Touch Pro earphones to kind of sweeten the deal. So if you like what you see with these earphones in this video or my full on review down the road, you have until 31st July to basically get these at a discounted price only for my viewers. I'm not getting any kickback for this. I'm not getting any discount for this. I'm just telling you the discount because hey, it's there. Anyway, that's, let's move on with the video. That's to say though, even though these earphones are on discount for my viewers with their voucher code, it doesn't mean that this earphone is expensive in the first place. Uh, it's a budget focus, you know, budget targeted, you know, value oriented uh, pair of wireless earphones. It's not designed for the most fancy premium users. It's not designed for people who are, you know, looking at sounds of like the Bose earphones and stuff. No, it's designed to give you a really solid experience for about 30 plus Singapore dollars, especially with my discount code. Uh, it's designed to be just that cheap value option that gives you know, a few premium features and com creature comforts that you only find on more expensive stuff at a lower price. At least that is the design. Uh, so we're gonna be opening it up, we're gonna be checking it out. I think they gave me a black one and a white one. This should be the white one, I'm not sure. But let's open it up. Uh, by the way, if you want a full-on more detailed review and you're intrigued by this video but you want more details about it, uh, please subscribe because a full-on review will be coming down the road when I have more time and when I have had tested these earphones for a longer period of time. But till then, I'm just going to do a quick little unboxing and first impressions to just give you an idea of what I think about these earphones. One thing I will have life is definitely uh, for this device to be micro USB, uh, to be USB-C instead of micro USB. Uh, but you know, maybe for the next version they'll do that. But for the current version, it is micro USB. But the thing is, you know, everything I use nowadays is really my USB-C, and um, hopefully with another iteration it'll be USB-C. But it's a very small thing. You still can charge with it. It's still really convenient. Micro USB is still very common. I know a lot of people who still use phones that use micro USB. Um, a lot of my power banks still charge with micro USB. So it's a, I, it's a, it's a want, not a true need. But for the next version, maybe USB C. Okay, uh, let's open up the black one then. So we're really, it's the same thing. We're greeted with the manual, and we've got the black color earphones. There you go. I think in terms of design, they both look really nice. Like, I think this, if I'm not wrong, these are smaller than AirPod cases, uh, which is good, obviously. 
Uh, but I think the earphones are smaller than the AirPods as well because you don't have the extended long things as well. This being one of my first true wireless earphones that I've owned because the others all have, all have been like borrowed from my friends. I, I can't give you like a true you know size comparison and everything. I don't have any other thing on hand, but I can tell you that the case is very, very nice and small. Uh, so it should be able to fit in your pocket pretty well, fit in your bag pretty well. However, if you're like a girl, then this is too thick to fit in your girl pocket because you know, girls jeans and girls pants tend to have terrible pockets. But if you're a dude, perfectly fine. Very, very nice compact size here. The build quality is, it's impressive. It's soft touch plastic. I mean, it's not metal or anything, but it is cheap device. I'm not blaming them. Soft touch plastic, it's very light. Uh, which is, in my opinion, a good thing, but it still feels quite rigid, doesn't have any flex to it, so that's... Opening up the case, you've got, ooh, you've got this crisp spring actuated um, mechanism. It feels very satisfying to open and close it. I think it, it, it has a slight magnet, I think, at the bottom. If not, it's like some sort of spring mechanism that makes the shutting feel very satisfying as well. So it's a bit spring-loaded, it's a bit it's snappy, feels good, uh, feels very, very nice, little details like this matter. Now, when I'm checking these out, I have to keep in mind the price that they are 30 plus dollars because if I you know, judge them too harshly, it won't be fair because these are really budget options for budget buyers in Singapore. So let's open it up and uh, I guess we will test out these earphones in terms of sound and pairing. So this is the charging case as it's the default nowadays. We've got two wireless earphones here. We want to put them in your ear. Okay, so I didn't put them into my ear fast enough, so I didn't hear the command that said power on. Uh, and after that, it said left connected, left corrected, right connected, which means both of them are connected to each other, and the, I made the case. And then after that, you connect to, to your phone, which is really easy, by the way. All you have to do is you scan, and then you pair the device by tapping T1 in your settings. So this is the Touch Pro Black Top, to be specific. They do have a couple of different models on there on their Shopee page. And this is the Touch Pro, which we're checking out. So I'm gonna to listen to some music, see how they sound. Uh, but before that, comfort-wise, oh, it's very secure with these medium earbuds. Very nice. And uh, comfort-wise, they're good. I mean, they feel like any, they feel like any other earphone. And um, they're very, very comfortable. They're like, they're just normal earphones when it comes to comfort. I think most earphones for me are quite comfortable with the right size tips. And I think the default size tips are perfect for me. It might be different for you, but they do give you large and small uh, ear tips so they can adjust it to your liking in the box. So that's a good thing. Uh, in terms of battery life, I can't tell you anything, but I can tell you the earphones have a 70 milliamp battery and the charger case is a 400 milliamp battery. That isn't too big, but it shouldn't too do too badly either. I can't tell you yet because I haven't done any long-term testing. They'll be saved for the review, which you should subscribe for. And um, I'll be testing it easier sounds out more intensely, especially when I'm in the army uh, doing my national service. So let's just test these out. We're gonna start off with some um, classical Eric Satie Gino PD number one. So for me, uh, I always test with no equalizer settings and then I would do like an EQ settings trying to fix the things that I don't like about the sound of the earphones. So I'm currently on default equalizer settings and I've started to feel like uh, this bass even though it's a classical song. So I'm thinking this is got a bass heavy earphone. I like that but um, the bass is quite present even in a song without any kicks or drums. It's just a classical song. Eric Satie, g PD number one. Uh, I don't know how to say that, by the way, I'm butchering the name. Okay, so it sounds really decent. I mean, it sounds good. It's not HD 600s, but it's clear. It sounds pretty clean, and uh, there isn't any kind of static, but there isn't a lot of interference here as well. So we'll be testing out another song. We're listening to Slow Dancing in the Dark by Joji. Love that song. Yeah, there is a lot of bass in this. Even though this song doesn't have a lot of kicks and low end, but it's just bleh, you can hear it. So it's a very warm sounding earphone, a lot of lower mids, so Joji's voice is very rich. And the low end synths, like the bass synths sound great, but the high end synths are a bit more flat and washed out. And the treble doesn't have as much detail with like hi-hats and stuff, so it's, it is, uh, give or take, 
you might like this kind of sound with a bit more bass, with a bit more low mids, especially if you listen to rap a lot or Frank Sinatra or you want bass. But for me, I think it's it's all right. It's it's not not bad at all. But I actually do, I actually do quite like the sound signature, but only for some songs. Okay, so I'm now listening to some uh, Paranoid by Kanye West, one of my favorite songs of all time. In some sort of stereo spacing and like imaging, it's quite narrow, but it doesn't really feel like an expensive sound. It doesn't feel spacious. At the same time, it does feel a lot more intimate than a spacious sounding earphone. So it's a pro or a con, up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna set like a custom EQ, lowering the bass a little bit and uh, seeing how it sounds then because I want, I'm want i curious to see uh, the rest of the sound if you took out the bass uh, a little bit by lowering it a little bit. So uh, we'll give, give it like a high pass filter pretty much, just a slight one. I'm listening to Parisian Walkways, Gary Moore. In terms of volume, these get really loud. Uh, they definitely get loud enough for me to enjoy this, the music. So so yeah, when I EQ away the bass, it the, the mids and eyes finally do come clean and start standing out because the bass really is a bit overbearing, a bit boomy for my tastes. But I guess if you just want to get lit to mask off, then maybe you're okay with the bass. But I do recommend you lower the bass a little bit. When you're listening with these earphones, they definitely increase the quality of like vocals and the drums in here. Not to say that the sound by default is bad, but uh, it's a slight tweak that everyone can do in their phone software. Go to settings, go look for advanced sound effects, and then just set an EQ. And once you do that, the sound will be thoroughly, thoroughly improved, uh, at least for now. Now these earphones haven't been broken in yet. I haven't given them like rigorous testing. So I can give you a conclusive uh, statement as to the sound, but for now, the general first impressions is that it's quite warm, quite boomy when it comes to the bass uh, and the low kind of male vocals are very rich and warm if, when it comes to like singing and stuff so it really stands out in the low end and the high hands and the high mids does tend to get a bit covered up by the bass and the lower lower mids i won't hold it against them because eq is the easiest thing you can ever do uh, when it comes to earphones but when it comes to like sound quality detail and sharpness i can't tell you exactly how i feel about it but it does sound pretty clear, sounds pretty detailed. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy detailed, but you can hear most of the things that are going on a track, even when compared to like my M70X, which are $300 pair of studio monitors. So not bad at all. It's definitely all around good sounding, but keep it, keeping in the price, keeping the price in mind of $30 plus and the other features, uh, the sound I can't say is bad at all. It's, Let's talk about the features though, uh, because this is the Touch Pro, because it has a lot of touch features, which honestly, reading the list, I'm quite impressed. So you have um, essentially settings, you can essentially both sides have like a little touchpad where you can use to control your earphones, uh, control your music or control your calls. So you can tap once to answer call, you can tap and hold to decline a call, you can switch the audio output between your phone or your earphones in a call. If you just touch, uh, if you tap the touch for one second in the middle of a call, and if you tap two times, you can mute the earphones, which is nice. If for music, if you want to play the music, play pause the music, you can just tap the touch control. If you want to skip to the last song, you tap three times. If you want to skip to the next song, you tap two times. And if you want to activate the voice assist voice assistant, because it's a, if I'm not wrong, there's a microphone in here, uh, you can tap the contr touch control for two seconds to activate this voice assistant. Uh, tap the touch control four times, by the way, if you want to redeal the last calling number, but be exited. So be, be careful not to tap it too many times unless you want to actually redeal someone. Uh, <laughs> I do find that that is a problem with some earphones for me. I always accidentally do the redo. Uh, so these are the functions, and I actually th they actually work very very well. The touch sensitivity is very good. Like it's pretty instant. There is a bit of lag to when you tap it and when it plays the music, but there's a very it's very minuscule amount of lag, and it's quite responsive overall. I don't find myself having to tap again because it didn't detect. The touch sensors are quite sensitive. It's quite convenient and I really like these features. So I guess that's it for the first impressions and I'm gonna take out these earphones now. I might be speaking a bit louder into the mic because my earphones were in. I will definitely be giving these a fair shot, giving these a full review. Very nice as always to see 
a company from Singapore trying to get a foothold in the tech world. So good luck to Black Todd with their success. This product here in my general first impressions is that for its cheap and value oriented price, it's really, um, it's a decent consideration. I can't give you a conclusive, is this really good or is this really bad? But my general first impressions is it's, it's pretty good. And I genuinely am interested to see how this holds up in the long run. Things like build quality, design, and uh, convenience are the most important things at the cheap end of wireless earphones. Seems to get some more, most of it down. It might have some quirks and features that I don't know of yet. So you will uh, have to subscribe and watch the full review to learn more about. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did enjoy checking out these earphones. Very interesting product, you know, from a Singapore company. So nationalistic, patriotic a little bit. And um, so I guess that's it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Subscribe especially if you wanna see the full on review of these. Comment if you have anything to ask because I reply to every single comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.